My name is Katrina Kavanagh and I am the creator of Kindness on Purpose. I'm also a therapist that specialises in grief, trauma and relationships. Kindness on Purpose is a program that aims to connect kids to empathy through acts of kindness. As a therapist, I was just seeing time and time again children at school experiencing bullying and not having the right strategies to cope with it. Okay, how can I actually do this in real life? And how can I really, really help people to be connected to their kindness and the best part? We have our core values already and compassion is the one value that we struggle to have children actually achieve because they just can't move away from that self-centeredness. There are essentially two stages to the Kindness on Purpose program. The first stage is where every single child in the school actually engages in a Kindness on Purpose activity. And that's great because it really normalises within the school the idea that Kindness on Purpose is something that they all do. The second stage specifically targets children who are acting out in their behaviour. They're hurting other children and they are usually on detention and what we do is alongside the detention process we also ask them to do two or three extra acts of kindness on purpose. This gives them the message that they're capable of more than the behaviour that's got them in trouble. They're actually capable of having empathy for themselves and others. Uh, it's not complicated, it's very straightforward, it's something everybody can do. There are a lot of examples of kindness on purpose activities. One of them would be, you know, a child will help you know, open the door or a gate for an elderly person as they're move, walking along a path. There's lots of um, kindness on purpose activities for mum at home, you know, helping mum with the dishes. It's really good because they're stopping and thinking about, yeah, mum would probably really like it if I helped her cook the dinner and it's something they've just not thought of before. And they can see mum's really stressed or tired. So they're aware of, of how someone else is feeling. We have children now who are really able to identify their feelings and really know what their feelings are within their body, okay? That's a huge increase in emotional literacy and a key component to connecting kids with their feelings because the next step is empathy. When we have children and adults connected to empathy, they're less likely to engage in bullying and they're more likely to have better mental health outcomes such as, you know, lower rates of depression and anxiety. It fits with everything we're doing. It fits with the uh, wellbeing framework in schools. It fits with the Department of School Education's core values and our core values. And I honestly feel that given time and support from Katrina, it will be really effective. This program will really help other schools because it changes the culture of the school. It reduces bullying in the school and it also sets up our children to have better mental health outcomes in their future to be more connected to empathy, to have lower rates of aggression in relationships and just be generally better people in our community.